What's up, Adria? Hey, Shanna. All right, I'm just going to get into it because um, I just heard something that rocked my core. First of all, I'm I'm just going to say this because I'm not trying to start no beef. But nobody, and I mean nobody, is going to tell me that Genevieve Bailey has fucked with them more than she's fucked with me. Nobody's going to tell me that. Nobody is also going to tell me what I cannot what I can and cannot say or feel or regarding it. I do believe that you once said that if you light a fire, you can't control how it burns. Well, a fire was lit in me back in 2021. And that motherfucker still burns. Sit back and evaluate the real impact that that woman has had on your life. And then let's have a talk. Because there is no motherfucking way in hell you can tell me that having your address given to Jessica Chastain was a big deal. Having the FBI come and visit you was a big deal. Some... Pizzas being delivered to your home. a big It was a big deal to you. I get it. But imagine having this crazy woman, because she's no different than she was back in 2020 in my eyes. She's no different. There is zero comparison in my eyes. What, well, because... Her life is falling apart. That's her fucking fault. She did it. I do agree with people should block her. I do agree that people should not follow her on sock accounts. She lives for those numbers. But I will be goddamned if anybody says that they were the most affected. And I will be goddamned if you tell me how my fire is burning. Because it's a fucking stage 10 forest fire. I've said it once. I will say it again. I don't give a good goddamn what happens to Genevieve. It is in her control as a 45-year-old fucking woman to not get online and do this shit. It is in her control to get her shit together. I don't agree what half of these so-called content creators have been doing with respect to her. Because they are all trying to make a profit off of it. They are. She's a fucking train wreck. And they're making bank. If you cared so goddamn much, take all your fucking videos down about her. Give all the money back that you made. Donate it to a domestic violence shelter. I mean, don't sit on a fucking pedestal and tell people how to fucking feel. Because I can guarantee you in some way, shape, or form, in some way, shape, or form, Genevieve has impacted your life. None of you will ever get the story of her impact on mine. None of you will. Because I ain't for fucking sale. But you think what she's going through is dark and scary? Huh. Girl, you don't know dark and scary. You don't know. So don't tell me how to feel. Don't sit there. Do not sit there and say you've had it the worst. Because you haven't. You've made bank off of her. And it's cool. I love seeing her, Genevieve getting her feet held to the fire. But you don't get to tell everybody when it's time to press the brakes. And I'm highly, highly offended by you saying that 
she's impacted you the worst. So that's all I really wanted to say. I was going to come on and do chapter three, but I'm, I can't, I can't. That just burst my bubble for tonight. So maybe tomorrow, I don't know. I just got a fresh uh, legal copy of an update for chapter two. So um, I'm going to, I will do it because again, I don't give a good goddamn what happens to Genevieve? I really don't. She did it herself. She's a grown ass woman who's throwing a fucking temper ten- tantrum right now because she's not getting what she wants. She did the same shit to me. She reached out to 20 different fucking people in the community trying to get me just to talk to her. She's doing the same thing to Clint. And she's weaponizing mental health. Because she ain't fucking taking care of her mental health. And that is nobody's fucking responsibility. Nobody's. So anyway, I'm done. I'm pretty pissed the fuck off. And, well, I I shouldn't even say pissed off. I'm not pissed off. I'm just, I find it very hypocritical. It's very hypocritical for you to sit there and say, okay, now that's enough. And, you know, you just, you don't get to, you don't get to do that. And, you know, I know you have your feelings on the way she's impacted you. I'm sure that that's fine. Well, it ain't even about that cat. She's been mentally ill since 2020 when we first, I mean, On site, you could see it. Why do you think I didn't fucks with her like that? Less than three months. And she damn near ruined my life. My real life. My real kid's life. So, at the end of the day, you're not going to come to me and tell me that's enough. Because honestly, I've sat back for well over a year. And ain't said shit. And that psychopath has still been talking shit on me. And lying on me all over the goddamn internet. So, don't you don't get to tell me how to feel. I respect your feelings on it. And, you know, do you. But I think it's very high and mighty of you to tell people not to do it. Um, that... I, I, Again, you're you're entitled to you. And I, I don't have any beef. I still like Jules and, you know, whatever. I don't have beef, but I was very offended. So, hey, Pink. Hey, Idrix. But anyway, I'm going to get off here because I'm kind of pissed off now. And, well, not pissed, but, like, you know, I feel like the air was taken out of my balloon. Because remember, Jules, she incited you to call my job. And I'm not throwing that as a dig. Remember how badly you said you felt about that? And that was just you making a call. Imagine how badly it impacted me, which trickles down to my kids. So, you know. No, and and you know what, Kat? I I really, honest to God, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm team me and my kids. And like I said, I don't have beef with Jules. I'm not upset with Jules. Um, I just, you know, I I don't think that that's okay. I don't think it's okay for you to say, um, we need to stop. We needed this. We needed that. Don't tell me what I need to do because she didn't impact you like she did me. So. I'm going to do chapter three, maybe tomorrow morning or something when I feel a little happier because I don't feel happy right now. I don't. And I respect the fact that you don't want to be a part of her so-called mental health 
downward spiral, but she's already been there, sweetheart. She's already been there. And the only one that can do anything about it is Genevieve. So, I love you too, Vixie. But anyway, I'm going to go. I didn't want this to be a long gate of live or anything, but, uh, you know, I felt very invigorated to say something because I wasn't going to be silent. I've been silent for too long. I was intimidated by total virtual strangers trying to destroy my life and they stole my voice but not anymore not anymore because my feelings are just as valid and just as important as anyone else's So, anyway, I hope you guys all have a really good uh, rest of the night. And um, I'm going to watch some true crime or, or maybe a fucking comedy show. Uh, but I don't recommend uh, Busy and Jolene's Last Live. It sucked, sucked, sucked. Just saying. They've lost their touch without trying to be bullies. I hate that fucking word. We're grown. But anyway, don't watch it. It sucks. Not funny at all. I watched the first like 20 minutes. Boring. But anyway, so yeah. I, I personally, I, I don't even understand how Jolene um, considers herself a stand-up comic. I mean, that in and of itself is a fucking catfish joke if I ever heard it. Oh, cat, you know you love Jolene, 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 Jolene. Exactly, Adria. And I said that on Terry Lynn's the other day. When everyone was starting to feel bad for Jen. Well, not feel bad for her, but whatever. I was like, fuck that. Does she give a rat's ass the impact she's had on everyone else's fucking mental health? No, she never has. It's one of the traits of antisocial personality disorder. No regard for your actions or choices. Yes, Vixie. I'm coming. We are gonna light up Cincinnati, not Geninati. That's a look, I did get some um see y'all are gonna snap me out of my mood. I, but I did get a legal copy from Sharp Entertainment. Um I do have to make an addendum to um chapter two. I just found out some very uh pertinent information. Um, and the legal team told me I kind of perjured myself a little bit and, uh, that's illegal. So, uh, I won't be breaking the law, breaking the law, but, uh, anyway, I'm gonna get off my little soapbox here. I just had to say something because lots of y'all were thinking it. I just said it. No, I'm just kidding. And again, I, this is not a diss to Jules in any way, shape, or form. But you don't, you know, as you always said, you can't light a fire and then decide how it burns. Well, I have a stage 10 forest fire. And not necessarily to see anyone suffer any type of physical harm or anything like that. But, uh. If it happens, it happens. The fuck am I going to do? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know this chick. Never have. Never met her. We're too fucking invested in her feelings, in, in Genevieve's feelings, and not invested enough in our own. So. Exactly. So, exactly, cat. Fuck her. I, I truly don't care. Truly don't care. How about this, Genevieve? Take me to court. You know I show up. So, anywho. All right, y'all. I'm going to go. I'm finishing up my uh, legal paperwork and uh, my DNA with uh, Sharp Entertainment. So, y'all have a good night.